Oh, well, hello, Pray and Share Warriors. So, I have been on an adventure this afternoon trying to figure out the best settings. Oh. For my new camera, which is supposed to be 4K. So, I've been watching videos about this. And, um, yeah. See, I can tell it's not even very clear on that. Anyway, it's it's fun. It's fun. I am learning though, and really, what's really funny about me? Well, this is this is the wrong arm. What's really funny about me is I like to be challenged, and I like to learn. So I am learning how to do all this, and but I think I'm gonna flip. And I think I'm going to do my YouTube live on my phone and my Facebook live on my computer. I think I can do that. I don't know. I'm not quite smart enough to figure it out. But I'm working on it. Somebody sent me a text and said that they would help me increase my uh, viewership and all that stuff. But I don't know. People usually want money for that. And what I do is free. So anyway, it is good to be here this afternoon, and I am going to share more about Passion 22, and I didn't even, I was so engrossed in what I was doing, I didn't even set up anything on Facebook that I was going to do this. So I think what I'm going to do, well, since I decided on a schedule, 9 and 5, of course this morning Coffee Treasures was... 11 instead of 9 because uh, I don't know I had weird sleeping last night so anyway let's pray and I want to share with you uh, what message is it today uh, Sadie Robinson Sadie Robertson Robertson yeah Sadie Robertson Huff so good such a good message such a good message for our younger generation that seems to be confused about a lot of things that us older people are not confused about. But anyway, let's pray. God, we just come to you. God, we just, we love you, God, with our whole heart, our soul, our mind, and our strength, God. And we know that you have a plan and purpose for us we must follow your teachings and your word. We must follow the truth. And we must follow Jesus back to you. So God, give us the strength to do that in this broken and fallen world. To be able to be obedient to you. To share your truth and share the gospel of Jesus. And um, just... I pray that you would open our hearts and our minds to what you want to teach us today. And I pray that if anybody comes on here with the spirit of offense, God, that you would touch their hearts. And in Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Okay, I prayed that because for some people this message is going to be offensive. And so, um, in session two of Passion 22. Let's, I'm continuing unpacking. This is part three. Um, I need to write that down. My handwriting is so horrible. Alright, it's a good thing I don't do handwriting for people because they couldn't read it. And my neck is crooked too. I can't figure out how to get my the neck of my shirt, but I do want to show you my shirt. And uh, first of all, I want to show you something. Okay, so this is my new uh, Love and Faith t-shirt. When I worked for The Promise, I never really had to buy t-shirts. I had a whole wardrobe of t-shirts, and I only wore Promise t-shirts. So when I quit, 
I needed t-shirts. I just wanted some Christian t-shirts. These are soft. I love these. A lot of times I get them on sale. Sometimes I get buy one, get one free. I love this company. I want to I want to share with you my Bible box that I got yesterday. My Love and Faith Bible box. You know, there's a lot of companies that do this. And, um, I'm. by the way, this is not an advertisement for them. I'm just sharing. That's pray and share. I like to share things. But I have this neat magnet. Or is it a sticker? Oh, it's a sticker. But you know what? I can make it a magnet that says, just pray. There we go. I just clipped it to one of my magnets, and now I just see it. Anyway, it matches my shirt, just pray. I got a devotional for 30 days, a 30-day devotional that I can write things in. Um, that has these little sticker decals in it that's so cool. And I'm already like, what is today? Today's the six. I'm already six days behind on this, but I can catch up. Um, I got a $10 off gift card. I got a card that if I want to give this as a gift, if I want to give the whole thing as a gift, I got a card. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Um, I got me a bookmark that is John 3.16, <laughs> my favorite, one of my favorite verses. So anyway, just so cool. And it's only $27, and I bought my daughter one for Christmas, and so every month we're both going to get these, and um, if you don't want it, you know, if you get the t-shirt and you don't want it, it's just not really what you want, then you can always gift it. Anyway, as long as people wear the same size that you do, because it's going to come your same size every time. Okay. Well, enough for that. Anyway, I just wanted to share that I really like this t-shirt. I really want to contact these people. I have some great ideas for t-shirt designs. Maybe I could fulfill my t-shirt designs through them. I don't know. Anyway, uh, you can find them on Facebook. Uh, Love and Faith. That's where I found them. And... I bet I have 20 or 30 of their t-shirts because, like I said, a lot of times I wait until they have a sale, a BOGO or like 40% off or something, and then I buy them. Okay. All right. That was not, <laughs> that was not Sadie Robertson Huff's message. But anyway, I wanted to share that with you because this is pray and share, so that means that we pray and we share. We share things in the Bible. I share things that are going on in my life, which I've had a pretty good day. I haven't had a productive day because I got up late, but I've had a pretty good day. I connected with a lady that we used to go to singles class and we used to go to singles outings and sing in the church. And uh, she lives in Tennessee now, and so I kind of chit chatted with her all day off and on which is really what I like I like to just chit chat with somebody that way I can do it on uh, around my schedule here at home okay so uh, what she said is identity who am I to be confident um, I am who he says I am you know, so we find our identity in God's Word. This is where we find our identity. Has it changed who you are? You know, being a child of God, has it changed who you are? It has changed who I am. Who He is to you changes who we are. And so she went to Matthew 16, 13, 
And what I loved about all of these messages, everybody that did a message <laughs> carried a Bible out there, or they had some kind of electronic that they had their Bible on, and they were reading scripture. And I have been watching Passion for a really long time. I'm going to say at least five or six years. In 2019, I served. And if God lets me, I'm going to serve again in 2023. I'm quite excited. They are coming back to Dallas. I am very, very excited. Okay. Matthew 16, 13 says this. Let's see. When Jesus came into the coast of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Whom do men say that I, the Son of Man, am? And they said, Some say that thou art John the Baptist, some say Elias, and others Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. He saith to them, But who say ye that I am? And Simon Peter answered and said, Thou art the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered, Blessed art thou, Simon Barjona, for flesh and blood hath not revealed it unto thee, but my Father which is in heaven. And I say unto thee that thou art Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. And whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatsoever thou shalt loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. <laughs> So Jesus was talking to his disciples about who he is, who they thought he is. Okay, well let's, let's move on to my notes. So the conversation between Jesus and Peter at the gates of hell, which this Caesarea of Philippi, I didn't know that, that was a place of false worship. So that's why he called it Gates of Hell. They, they worshipped different gods other than God at this place. So that's why he called it the Gates of Hell. Um, Jesus asked them, Who do people say that I am? Who do you say that I am? Peter replied, You, you are the Son of God. Peter's identity was found in what Jesus said he is. So, Jesus said that Peter was the rock that he was going to build his church on. So, that's who Jesus identified Peter as. And uh, who we believe we are will impact us to do what God wants us to do. Social media does not give us our identity. God does. God gives us our identity. My life has meaning and purpose even when it doesn't feel like it. God's truth in His Word about who we are, who He created us to be, is will set us free. Jesus has the power to set us free. Jesus is the truth so powerful this message about God's truth that was my comment find our identity in who God is Christ that lives within me who am I that I can do what you call me to be I am who I am the great I am sent me so powerful he is my father God in me can do more than I can ever think or imagine. So remember that when you are struggling with your identity, take it back to Jesus. Take it back to God. Remember that God is not, does not have a spirit of confusion. So if you are confused, it is not of God. 
So seek the truth in God's Word, because that's where God's Word is found, is in His truth. So that ended her message, which was just so good. Just so good. <laughs> just so good. She is so wise beyond her years. And uh, I have heard her speak before. Uh, she spoke last year at Passion, but we went to Youth Evangelism Conference one year, and she was one of the speakers, and she is amazing. So if you get the opportunity to look her up and listen to some of her messages, or even look this message up if it's available, then it will be a blessing to you, especially if you have any confusion about who you are and who God created you to be. All right, so I'm going to, we're only like 15 minutes in, so I'm going to share with you Louis Giglio's uh, message, which has a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of scripture. So, this is Louis Giglio, and these are my notes from what he said. God has a purpose and plan for us all. Move into action. 1.2 billion people that have no knowledge of God's Word, 1,800 people groups that don't have one Word of God. So this is a challenge that they did for the students. And it is a um, 12-verse challenge. What it means is Getting Bibles interpreted in the languages of the people that do not have Bibles. And I accepted this challenge. And I'm glad I did. Because I think it's going to be a blessing. I think it's going to be a huge blessing. So 22 million people, Bibles in their language. 22 million people have Bibles in their own language. So, um, that is what this challenge is about. is about getting God's Word interpreted for these people that don't have, like, eight, not 1,800 people, 1,800 people groups. You know, that's a lot of people, because there's no telling how many people are in each people group. So that's a lot of people that do not have access to God's Word. I mean, I have two Bibles sitting here on my desk. I can go in any room in my house. I have a Bible in other rooms. I have a little New Testament that I carry in my purse. I have the Bible app on my phone. I have the Bible available in the language that I need. But there are many people that do not. So that was the challenge. There's always a challenge. There's always something that these students can uh, invest in, missionary-wise. And so that was the challenge. And by the end of the... Um, by the end of the conference... They had enough money for one people group and were working on two people groups being able to translate the Bible into that language. So I think that is so awesome. And then, I wonder if I have time. You know, I think I'm going to save David Platt. The next one was David Platt, and I'm going to save it for tomorrow night. That's going to be our part four. Because it has a lot of scripture. And I'm really trying to limit my time. One reason is because it takes so stinking long to upload a video to YouTube these days for me. It used to not. I don't know. And then I try to go back to my UCAM, but it is so slow. And it is so far behind. And... It's like I say something and then it's delayed. 
like tonight it's not doing that I just I don't want to even touch these settings I want to keep them the same and actually I look pretty much the same as I do on the Facebook camera except that everything's flipped around backwards this is actually my right arm and so I don't know how to flip it back around so we're just going with it okay well it is time to do a salvation message and I don't know how I want to do it well actually I was watching um, Ray Comfort the other day Living Waters and so this is a fake million dollar bill it is a not real I can send you one for free though if you want it. It, it looks real. It has the strip. It has um, serial number on both sides. It has the United States of America. It has the bell. It has one seal there. It has another seal there. But then it has livingwaters.com on the edge. And uh, on the back, it says, In God We Trust. But it's also a tract. It's also a tract. Now, he has some new ones that are a book, like the whole book of John that has this on the outside. I may order one of those because I thought that was pretty cool. Although, I have a whole book of John, too, somewhere here. Yeah, I don't know. I think maybe it's in my dining room. But I'm going to bring it in here because we might do a study on John because I have a little study book. Okay, and if I needed to, I could mail you study books because I have more than one. Alright, so this is a fake million dollar bill. This, if it was real, could not pay your way into heaven. Salvation is a free gift. So let's read the back. Here is the million dollar question. Will you go to heaven when you die? Here's a quick test. Have you ever lied, stolen, or used God's name in vain? Jesus said whoever looks at a woman to lust for her has already committed adultery with her in his heart. If you have done these things, God sees you as a lying, thieving, blasphemous adulterer at heart. And the Bible warns that one day God will punish you in a terrible place called hell. But God is not willing that any should perish. My bracelet jumped off my candle again today. John 3.16 It's really hard to get all this stuff even. John 3.16 you know what? That goes with my shirt today. It does. Hmm. I should have worn it today. Maybe that's why it jumped off my candle today. Alright, I'm sorry. Let's get back to the salvation message. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Then Jesus rose from the dead, defeating death. Today, repent and trust Jesus, and God will give you eternal life as a free gift. Then read the Bible daily and obey it. God will never fail you. Livingwaters.com So if you would like to invite Jesus into your heart, this kind of leaves it open for you to do it however you want. Just call upon the name of God. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus is who God says he is. And commit is it commit or confess? <laughs> this one says commit, and I really like it. Commit your life to Christ. Commit your life to Christ. Are you going to be perfect? Oh, absolutely not. I am not perfect. I am not perfect at all. 
But I'm saved, and when I do sin, I repent and ask for forgiveness because I don't want to live in any type of sin. I want to be free. I want to be set free. Ooh, that would be a good bracelet. Set free. I need to make some new bracelets. Okay. Well, I am going to get off of here. I do. I am going to bless you. Try not to be so repetitive this year. Um, I feel like I got in a rut of repetitiveness, and I want to be more open to what the Holy Spirit wants to say through me. So, but in Numbers 6, 24 through 26, the Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face shine upon thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. So, let me pray us out. And I am going to go cook dinner. And it will be a, another two hours before YouTube gets this video because it is so slow. So I'm going to, tomorrow, I'm going to try to do a very short live on YouTube and a very short live test on Facebook. So if you see it, I am just trying to test things out to see if I can flip them and if I can do the lives at the same time. Because that would be so very awesome. I tried doing YouTube on my computer and it says it wants to work, but it's extremely slow. I don't know. It may be my computer. All right, well, let's pray. God, thank you for this time that we can open your word, that I can share what your messenger shared with me, that, God, we can read in your word who you are, and that is where we get our identity is from you and through Jesus that you have a special plan and purpose uniquely chosen for each one of us. God, because you love us so much and you want to invite us in, not only to eternal life, but to be an instrument for you for to further the kingdom, God. We thank you for that. I pray for anyone that comes here, God. I pray for blessings, protection, and provision, God. I pray for guidance. I pray that just like we read this morning, that nothing can separate us from your love, God. And we just pray that you would give us the boldness to go out to share your truths and share the gospel of Jesus with others. And in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, well, my pray and share warriors, I am still working things out, but it is early in the year. <laughs> Maybe before long. I can do two or three lives at the same time, which is kind of my plan, so I don't have to sit here and wait for things to upload. Um, I have learned a trick, though, with YouTube. If I open up something else and just, like, play music, at least my computer stays open, so that makes the process a little bit faster. But anyway, much love. Much love. Cyber hugs till I see you again. Good night. <laughs>